they've messed up, really. They thought that nobody would really object. They didn't realise that women would object, I think. They thought everybody would welcome, you know, having uh, an iconic figure such as Winston Churchill. And I think by the fact that they already obviously had to have had the Jane Austen artwork and the capability to put Jane Austen on a banknote ready means that they were already sort of havering between the, you know, they're not sure, but they thought they would go with Winston Churchill and really I think they just thought nobody would object. And then they're a bit shocked that people have object, objected. And I think there's also this kind of feeling that it's all a bit silly. You know, these women are being a bit hilarious about this. It's all a bit hysterical and, oh, what are they making a fuss for? But the fact does remain that it is half the population of this country and they deserve to be represented in every possible walk of public life, from banknotes to, to public art, to galleries, to schools, the education, women, you know, people should be educated about the historical women in history, you know, in English history, as well as the historical male icons. We just, it's just a matter of, of decency and equality, really.